pleasure to meet you, man. I appreciate y'all having me, man. Salute, salute, salute. Sir. Ah, <laughs> tell these niggas. The opinions expressed on this show does not reflect the ones of the Get Your Bars of Media platform. Therefore, stay at your moist ass feelings and get your bars up, you bitch. In the words of Capology Facts, hold this LTV, that is. What up, world? It's your boy, BA For Real 100, and welcome to Get Your Bars Up Media. Salute, salute, salute. Uh, so, we are up in the building today. Yes, yes, I know you've seen the title, and guess what? Yeah, the title is what it is. Salute to my guy, Kwame Brown. Salute to my guy, Kwame Brown. Why do I say salute to Kwame Brown? Why am I not one of these other niggas hating on him? Why? Because the young fellas, have, he has a message. He has a message, and I know a lot of y'all people don't like how he's presenting this message, but damn, I know you don't like how he's saying it, but are you getting what he says? Young fella is really trying to uplift the community right now, and I think it's dope, and I think it's needed. I think it's needed for the culture as a whole. Somebody that's been through the system, you feel me? Somebody that's been putting it down in general, and... Live the live that life of where you had to submit to certain type of entities that talk crazy, and you didn't want to mess up your money. But now that you got it, you you uh you invested right, etc. Now you can say whatever you want to say, but whatever you say is real. And yes, salute to you, Mr. Brown. I see you. I see you, sir. I definitely see you. But with that being said, my guy has been getting a lot of hate. Getting a lot of hate. Is it necessary? Probably not. Should we be uh, should we be uplifting each other right now? Probably should. But with that being said, today at Get Your Bars Up Media, I bring to you Kwame Brown's top five haters list. Now, with this list that I've put together, these are people that some of you uh, that if you follow him, then you definitely know who they are. But it's been a lot of hate going on. Hating what he says, it's like the thing with the, the the thing with a lot of people that's hating on him at this very moment is like you want to start something, but you don't want to finish it. And then when it's brought to your front door, when you throw rocks at that glass house, and I mean, and your, and your house is made of glass, then he decides to throw it back. You get sensitive. You start talking crazy. For what? For what? But I know y'all just want to see what the list is looking like. And guess what? You got it. You got it. With that being said, Kwame Brown's top five haters list. Ah! I want to say, once again, hopefully a lot of these people that are beefing with him, that don't like him, has, that, has, that, that has been speaking down on his name, hopefully one day. Y'all can go on this podcast and make up because a lot of y'all are brothers and sisters and bringing down the black athlete doesn't make sense to me. Definitely does not make sense to me. But at number five, Kwame Brown's top five hater list, we have Mr. Tommy Sotomayor. Sotomayor. Now, this brother is very controversial and it's crazy that he's even on his list. But he definitely is. Why is he on his list? Because you got this fella right here. Kwame has shouted him out multiple times. Showed this guy love when a lot of brothers and sisters don't even rock with this guy because of his unorthodox point of views. Kwame has been showing this guy mad love, but then he goes on a little rant. He gets a little upset. Why you ain't call me out? Why you cost Kevin Samuel out? Man, see, that's what I'm talking about. Brothers like you. Why are you hating? He calls you out. Do you need set of, like satisfaction? Do you need to be do you need instant satisfying whatever? I can't even say the words right now. Pardon me. But do you need to be in, uh, uh, instantly gratified? Do you need to be gratified every single time that you see Kwame Brown go live and build up his fan base. You got a large fan, uh, fan base, Tommy. Why are you hating? Why are you hating on Kwame? Call that man and make up, man. Because right now, you're looking super bad. You're looking super bad. 
I haven't seen Mr. Brown get up and say, yo, you my homie. I, and we, you could call my phone. You don't got to go off. But nah, are you clout chasing for these views? Trying to hate? Stop it. He show you love. You a grown ass man. And you don't need you don't need Kwame Brown to be calling your name out every freaking episode. Every time he goes live, he ain't going to say your name. Get used to that. It's cool. He live his own life. You live yours. Stop hating. Hopefully y'all make up. But yeah, Tommy. I'm going to need you to definitely get your bars up. Salute to you, though, because you're a brother. I'm not going to go in because I don't know you personally, but I know what you're doing. And I know what, what's been going on behind closed doors because it's been exposed. So please get it together and stop hating. Stop hating. and Get your bars up. At number four, we have Charlemagne, the god of the breakfast club. Yes, Charlemagne the God. Now, I actually, I, I actually think he's a cool guy. I think he's a cool guy as far as his. Uh, I like, I like a lot of it. I like the way that he outlooks his his opinions on different situations going on. Sometimes they're a little bit unorthodox, but he seems like a good guy. I like the Breakfast Club. Do I watch that shit all the time? No. But I know one thing. Since Mr. Charlemagne has been super close to Mr. Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson's. Those are his homies. He decided to go on the Breakfast Club and bring up Mr. Kwame Brown. Bring him up in a negative way, talking about his father, talking about different situations going on. Something that Kwame is not even a part of, wasn't even raised by his father. Talking about his brother. All of that didn't say anything positive about him. Didn't say no. He didn't. He didn't say yo, Kwame man. He uh he doing his thing. He's speaking about break up in the culture. He's got these programs. He's trying to get this shoe program. No, he just said yo, his father's a his father's a killer. His brother's a killer. Locked up. Yada yada yada. Stop it, Charlemagne. Why are you hating? Why are you hating? Stop hating. So what is <laughs> so what does Kwame Brown do? He brings up a situation that Charlemagne has uh, has went through. I'm not going to speak about the situation that was brought up, the alleged situation. But I know one thing. Charlemagne, you can call that man and talk to him. Stop hating. Stop hating. And like I said to Tommy, Charlemagne, get your bars up. What are you doing? Call that man and get this squared away. The sooner you do that, the sooner that both of y'all can link and do something for the community with each other, period. If you didn't do what you've done, that, that people say that you've done allegedly, allegedly. Moving on to number three, Stephen Jackson. Ah, I rock with you, Stephen Jackson. Why? Because I'm from Texas. I'm from H-Town. You feel me? I know you from PA. I know you from PA. And I rock with PA. I rock with all of my Texans. But what you did, talking down on this man, one trade, da da da. Wasn't even he was brought up in a small conversation on your podcast, all the all the smoke. But you decided to go in and talk down on him. And then you decided to, oh man, you trying to clout chase. Oh man, you cool, but you a piece of dirt. Stop it. You are with Islam. You are with Islam. Muslim. I thought that if you are with Islam and you Muslim, you should be humble. You should be humble. But no, you going in. And then you sort of apologize, but you don't apologize. So what does Kwame Brown do? He goes in on you. Why? Because you was hating. Stop hating. Get it together. 
if you say if you got as much money as you say you do, you don't worry about the people that's trying to create this war between you and him. Call that man. Square it up. Just like what I said with the two prior people in that fourth, uh, in that fifth and fourth slot. If you were to talk to this man, then y'all can clear this up, move forward, and then get to the community. Come together, grow and build. But in order to do that, you definitely got you got to stop hating, sir. You got to get that hate out your soul. If you got to go pray, go pray. But get it out your spirit, sir. I ain't here to preach. But you've been hating. And that's why a lot of people are coming after you talking crazy. Come on now. What you say, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. he be at the club. He got security and all of this. And, and you know, I'll be at the club with my guys. Yo, if I'm a millionaire and I'm in a club with security, what's wrong with that? I got millions of dollars. People are looking at, people are trying to target me probably most likely because I got money. Do I got to prove that I'm tough? No. So calm down with that. And I know that you've been trying to grow uh, spiritually. You feel me? And I and I hope that that works out for you. And I hope that you find yourself. And I hope that you call Kwame Brown, y'all make up, and then y'all move forward so y'all can start building communities. Period. Period. Y'all can actually help build or build a. Uh, create a new system of what's going on because that's the overall goal. That's the overall goal. But salute to you, sir. I'm going to still need you to get your bars up and stop hating. Stop hating. With that being said, hater number two, Matt Barnes, a.k.a. Becky with the good hair, allegedly. <laughs> now, this fella right here, talking super reckless. He was the one that I ain't say nothing, but he got so bad that it was uh Kwame came out and said what he said and then you were on a national syndicated show with Rachel Nichols and you're like, "Man, I think he needs to get some help. I think he's tripping. He needs to get his life so and so. Stop it, Matt Barnes. Stop it. We ain't trying to bring each other down. But I know you say what you say, Mr. Uh, there was only one person in that trade, yada, yada, yada. So then you get upset with him and you want a box. So what does he do? He talks about your issues that he feels like you have. You cannot, you cannot throw stones at somebody else's house when your house is made of glass. I say that again. You cannot throw them stones at somebody else's house when your house is made of glass because you can deal it out, but you can't take it. So what is what happens with Kwame? What does he do? He goes in on you. He gives you a nickname that everybody in the country is calling you now. They calling you Becky with the good hair. That's crazy. That's crazy. And it ain't even from a hating perspective. It's a fight back perspective because you started something. You started something. Started something to the point where you kept talking. And then next thing you know, you looking crazy because Derek Fisher and your ex-wife or your whatever, your, I don't know what she is to you now, is brought up. Stop it. I recommend... Just like I said with the other three fellas on this list, call that man. Squash this shit. Squash it. Get it together. Why do I say squash it? And y'all going to hear this and repeat. You should squash this shit because y'all can go build with each other. Y'all can go build and build communities. What's wrong with that? Apologize like a man. I don't know. You a man. You your own man. I don't know if you're going to apologize, but talk to this man. Leave the boxing gloves and all that shit out of here. Out of that. 
y'all both millionaires. Act like it. If you a boss, act like you a boss and go talk to this man. Go clear your name and then let's go let's go bring money and build to these communities and let's go build them up. Let's go help the kids. Come on, Matt Barnes. I'm not gonna call you Becky with the good hair, but that shit is funny. I ain't gonna lie, it's funny. But remember, you started it. But Matt Barnes, what I'm gonna need you to do is I'm gonna need you to get your bars up. Get your bars up, sir. And I'm gonna need you to stop hating. Stop hating and let's go build these communities. With that being said, the number one <laughs> hater of Kwame Brown at this moment. This shouldn't have been hard. Everybody should have knew it was this guy. Mr. Stephen A. Smith. O-M-G. Stephen A. Smith. One of my favorite broadcasters. But, you know, with you, it's a different level. It's a different level with you. Because you've been hating on Kwame Brown since he was a teenager. Going to different colleges saying, this is what a bust is. This dude is a scrub. And we can rewind the tape and go back. And when have you ever said this about any other type of athlete that's not African-American because you brought down a whole bunch of black brothers who are in the sports, who have made it through adversity, and made millions of dollars. Yet you say it's not personal. Basketball, okay, this is basketball. You went on ESPN Plus on your show, and you said, you said, oh, he's a bust. Let me show you a minute of material. Yo, why are you doing this? Why can't you just call this man and talk to this man and get that shit over with? They show demons. Did Kwame Brown fully make you know? But he added to your credentials of hate. Crazy. You showed a minute of this guy's stuff, right? Yo, if you want to keep it 100, I can go, I can go get some stuff of LeBron James. I can go get some stuff of Kevin Durant. Of any of all the top players who ever played the game of basketball, I can get a minute of them. I can go find a minute of material of them fumbling the ball, missing, doing all of that. Do you know that Kwame Brown has had 30 points and 19 rebounds in a professional NBA game? Do you know this? You should know this. Do you know that this man played 13 seasons in the NBA? Because he has. And anybody that knows basketball, because I played college basketball, I wasn't the greatest. But I tell you one thing, it's not easy to be in the league for 13 years. You can't be no scrub. Most people don't even make it to year three. A year, or I mean, to year four, should I say? They they play out their rookie contract, and we don't see them no more. But with that being said, when you got up there and you were talking and you were hating that much on Kwame because of the videos he's been putting out, rebuttaling you. You failed to realize, you failed to acknowledge the point of what he was saying. He's not saying he know he, he calls him, see, he calls his own self a bust. Make sure y'all subscribe to Kwame Brown Bus Life. Quan under uh uh underscore low at IG. Subscribe to my guy. But like I said, the message that he was spitting, that Kwame is spitting, is about life in general. It's about how you can take money from somebody that's trying to build themselves up, help their feed their family that's made it to a certain, a certain level that you've never ever made it to in sports. You can take away from them. You can ruin careers doing what you've done and you've ruined careers just by word of mouth. All I ask is to stop hating Stephen A. Go call that man and talk to that man. Y'all got a lot to talk about. If not, he's going to continue to bring up real facts. And you're going to continue to try to keep it basketball. And he's going to take it. He's going to continue to keep it real life. So with that being said, Stephen A., stop hating. 
and get your bars up, sir. Get your bars up, Stephen A. Is it worth it? Nah, it's not. It's not. But anyways, with that being said, there was there goes your Kwame Brown's top five haters list. And to all the people that I mentioned in this list, all I'm asking is that you all just sit down and hit hit, hit up Kwame. Talk because every one, each and every one of y'all has the ability to do something very, very positive for the black community in all the cities that y'all came up in, as well as all the cities in the country, connecting with other people to do better and to do to do greater. So stop hating, get together, and let's let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. I wish I was in a situation where I had millions of dollars and I can connect. But if I if I did have millions of dollars uh, being an athlete or an entertainer, then I got people like whoever talking like, like the top five on here saying crazy things to make me fall off or to make me look silly without even talking to me, without even ever talking to me. That would make me feel a certain type of way. And if the shoe was put on the other foot. I guarantee you all of them will feel a certain type of way. But anyways, I got to get up out of here. This was Kwame Brown's top five haters list. And uh, yeah, it's brought to you by Get Your Bars Up Media. But anyways, it's your boy BA for Real 100. This is Get Your Bars Up Media. If this is your first time here, click that subscribe button. You rock with me. I rock with you. And if you out there hating just because you think I'm a new guy and you're just not stumbling upon my page and I've been doing this for a minute. <laughs> Then all I can truly say is thank you for coming and get your bars up. Salute, subscribe, all that good stuff. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this vid and what y'all and what y'all think about these haters in that comment section. And I'm sure that one of them will see one of them or probably all of them will see this video. And when y'all see it, I hope y'all I hope by that time y'all are no longer haters and y'all are supporters. Period. Because the man is just trying to say was real and until y'all rebuttal them or join them and, and get together and start creating a post to be uh become constructive instead of being destructive it's gonna get bad for y'all because the fan base is continue to is, is continuing to grow so shout out to kwame brown um shout out to his podcast shout out to his channel shout out to the young man anyway in in, in every facet because i see what you're doing because I know it's not, most cases is not what you say, it's how you say it, but it's the rare cases that it's not just how you say it, it's what you're saying as well. And you're in that rare case. So I hope people are getting the message. But anyways, I got to get up out of here. Peace and love. And may everyone out there have a wonderful rest of their day. And shit, like I said, if you don't got your bars up, then you definitely gotta hold this L. Holla at your guala. Hey, yeah, get your bars up media, man. I appreciate y'all having me, man. Salute, salute, salute. Sir. Ah, <laughs> tell these niggas.